Welcome to my studio. I'm Jen of Nectar and Bloom, and I'm excited to teach you how to design a lush and airy bridal bouquet that's designed with these beautiful and incredibly real silk flowers from our friends at Afloral. Let's get started. A good bouquet is like a poem. It comes from a feeling. It comes from an idea, and it invites experience. I like to invite the feeling of the person who will carry the bouquet I'm creating into my design process. Start with a few brush strokes of structure, something bushy that will give a little bit of support to the shape you're creating and start creating a spiral of stems that will help support one another in the bouquet. Place your heavier focal blooms first down low like keystones that will help you start to develop that depth and layering. Think of each flower as though it is a word full of meaning and sound. Place each stem like a note of music. In order to grow a nice, big, bouncy, and airy bouquet canopy, you'll want to place each flower at an angle. So you can even tap your shoulder to get that angle and then place your flower so that each one is continuing in that spiral shape of stems and getting its place to breathe. We can even use flower stems to angle the way they face to move the viewer's eye through the composition. When it comes to color, we want to be able to move through a color story with intention and using harmony as a guide. So each stem, we're going to pay attention to how one color speaks to the next as you move through the color palette. This creates interest for your viewer and it helps move you through the composition. As your design grows, it becomes heavier and it's important to use a bit of tape to save what you've already created and to allow you to turn your arrangement to see the other side. We want to add airy floaty flowers last. These bring a nice lightness to the end of the arrangement. They help us refine and finish our shape. And they also, I like to think, let the bouquet become the poem it wants to be. Once your bouquet is finished, the last touch is just to add a nice ribbon to wrap around your stems. Just a couple wraps in a simple loop and your bouquet is finished with this kind of poetic ending that trails off into the wind.